elect Donald Trump's pick of former Florida Congressman Matt Gates to be his nominee for attorney general is sending shockwaves through Washington. Gates, who resigned his seat after the announcement, has been investigated by both the Department of Justice and the House Ethics Committee. Nicole Skenga has the very latest from Capitol Hill. House Republicans who gave President-elect Donald Trump a standing ovation Wednesday sound less enthused about his attorney general pick, former Florida Congressman Matt Gates. I was taught if you don't have anything good to say, say very little. The president is smart enough and his team is smart enough to know that Mr. Gates will never get confirmed by the Senate whatsoever. Until recently, Gates was the subject of a Department of Justice sex trafficking investigation, the department he's now been tapped to lead. I won't be extorted by a former DOJ officials. DOJ declined to bring charges and close the case in 2023, but a House ethics investigation continued. Multiple sources tell CBS News four women have alleged they were paid to go to parties attended by Gates that included sex and drugs. The committee has Venmo transactions that allegedly show Gates' payments for the women. Gates has denied all wrongdoing. Gates resigned Wednesday night after Trump said he planned to nominate him for attorney general, potentially putting the House ethics probe on hold because the committee doesn't usually investigate members once they leave. Thursday, Democrat Dick Durbin, chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee, called for the House ethics panel to share its findings, while some Senate Republicans are backing Trump's choice. My presumption is to support all the president's nominees. Along with Gates, Trump announced Wednesday he wants Florida Senator Marco Rubio for Secretary of State and Democrat-turned-Republican Tulsi Gabbard as Director of National Intelligence. Nicole Skenga, CBS News, Capitol Hill.